Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to a different video. I know I say that quite a bit, but this really is a different video uh, because I want to give you my thoughts just quickly on Mayweather versus McGregor. And the reason that I want to do that is because it is dominating the news. It is dominating my thoughts. Uh, this is on track to be the biggest pay-per-view fight of all time. Um, I think they've said that it's going to do its biggest ever numbers in Australia, the UK. It looks like it's going to be about in line with Mayweather versus Pacquiao in the US. Numbers-wise, this is the biggest of all time. Um, they're fighting at 154 weight limit. The weigh-in was yesterday. Conor McGregor came in at 153. Uh, Mayweather came in at 149 um, and a half. And uh, McGregor was laughing in his face, telling him that Mayweather looked like he was in the worst shape of his life. McGregor's claiming that by the time the fight actually comes around, McGregor's going to be bigger. He's going to be more like 170. Um, he's going to be like a monster in there, apparently. Uh, it could all just be psychological stuff, uh, but that is what McGregor needs to do. He needs to get into Floyd's head. I don't think he will. Um, I don't think he's going to put Floyd off his game plan. Equally, I don't think Floyd's going to put Connor off his game plan. And that is why this fight is so fascinating. They are going to be fighting for a title, sort of. Uh, it's the WBC money title. Uh, and this belt has been specially made for this fight. Uh, it's got McGregor versus Mayweather written on the actual belt. Uh, the fight will air from Las Vegas and is happening in the early hours. Uh, so, yeah, we're not that far away from it. The build-up for this has been months and months and months in the making. And the reason for that is because Mayweather is regarded as one of the best of all time, certainly one of the best defensive boxers of all time. Conor McGregor, again, regarded as uh, one of the best UFC fighters. Not the best, uh, but his name is certainly in the conversation. Um, and it's just going to be fascinating. It's two worlds colliding. No one really knows how this is going to go down because the truth of the matter is you've got Mayweather, who's one of the best defensive fighters of all time, right? And I honestly think that when this fight starts, I think Mayweather just goes on the back foot, right? So Mayweather's on the back foot. I think McGregor might try his luck. But McGregor's going to be very wary of the counter punches. So McGregor knows that if he goes all in, he's, every chance he's going to get clipped. And if he gets clipped, you know, he might open himself up and, and Floyd could finish it off. I don't expect a knockout. I don't think Floyd's got the power to knock out McGregor. But the referee could stop this. Um, so it very easily could be a TKO, a technical knockout win for Mayweather. I think the likeliest outcome is this is going to go 12 rounds. I think those rounds are going to be cagey. I think there will be moments where McGregor pushes the action. But as we said, he's in there with one of the best defensive fighters of all time. I just don't think Floyd's going to give him anything. And as a result, I see this being 12 rounds, very cagey. I think McGregor will try at times but I think Floyd is just going to sit back. And, and Floyd knows if this goes to the judges, the judges are giving this to Floyd, right? I'm not saying it's fixed, but they are boxing judges, right? They're not UFC judges. They're going to want uh, to support the sport of boxing, uh, even if they won't admit that. I, I, I think that there's going to be bias here. Uh, I think that McGregor needs to end this uh, with a knockout, because if it goes the judges, I just I don't see them awarding it to McGregor unless it is that one-sided that they are left with no choice. If this is a 50-50 fight, Mayweather wins. I would say that's the result I'm most expecting, a Mayweather win on points. Uh, a Mayweather win on TKO would be a surprise, but I could see it happening. Equally, I can see a Connor knockout because the thing is that no, no one's been able to really crack the code. Even Mayweather has said, you know, no one has, has worked out the May Vinci code. Uh, and that code is how do you get through his defense? If Connor gets through, if Connor finds 
one devastating punch that you know just just causes a moment of uh, you know Mayweather reeling back or getting clipped or whatever. Connor will destroy him. Connor is a knockout artist. Connor McGregor, when he smells blood in the water. There's no boat left, there's no people left, there's no beach left. He demolishes it all. Um, but it's just, can he get through? That's why this fight is so fascinating. A lot of people are calling it a circus. This will be Conor McGregor's first boxing match. You know, I think Floyd Mayweather's had like 320 rounds of boxing. Conor McGregor has had none, <laughs> right? So it, on paper, it's a complete mismatch. But also on paper, you've got Mayweather, who's 40 years old, and you've got Conor McGregor that's just turned 29. So Conor's going to be the bigger, right? He's going to be the stronger. He's going to be the younger. And he's going up against Floyd Mayweather that maybe isn't the Floyd Mayweather of 10 years ago. But does he have to be? Will he have enough to overcome Conor McGregor? Mayweather feels that he does. Mayweather feels that he's got enough left in the tank to easily overcome McGregor. There's a few reports in the papers that Mayweather hasn't been training as hard um, and that he's taken this fight for granted. Uh, I would be surprised. Mayweather is 49-0. and 0. He has never been defeated professionally. This is going to be his last fight. I'd be amazed if there's anything after this. Big reports he owes the tax man a lot of money. Big reports he's only accepted this for the money, so he can pay the tax man. Um, he is putting his 49 and 0 record on the line. And if anyone thinks this is going to be simple, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. I don't care who you are. I've heard Ricky Hatton. I've heard Amir Khan. I've heard loads of like boxing legends say that they think it's going to be Mayweather. Uh, you know, in fairness to Ricky Hatton, he said, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it is Conor McGregor, but I do think it's going to be Mayweather because he's just such a great defensive boxer. He'll just sit in the trenches for 12 rounds and win the thing on points. Maybe, you know, get a, a moment somewhere and, you know, hopefully pick up a TKO. I just don't think Mayweather's got the power for a knockout. That will be the biggest surprise out of any outcome if Mayweather wins via knockout. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Connor winning on knockout, I, I can see that. I can see that because it's only going to take a moment. It's going to take one moment where Connor just finds a way through. If he wants to, he might, he might be able to bully Mayweather, bully him into making a mistake, bully him into a moment that Mayweather wasn't anticipating, wasn't planning for, a mistake is made and he's in Loads of backstory to this as well. This fight, you know, the build that we had all the press conferences. I think was it like four in four days? There was one in LA, one in Toronto, one in New York, one in London. Lots of trash talking. A few times they overstepped the mark. Um, part of it, you know, overall, I really enjoyed the, the press conferences. A few moments that made me go, oh, I didn't, didn't like that. Um, but it's a big show. And uh, it was overall entertaining. Even the weigh-in, as we said, you know, Connor straight over to Mayweather, telling him he looks awful, looks out of shape, that he's going to be 170, he's going to bully him and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so and that was last night. Um, so, yeah, lots of trash talking between these two. Connor was uh, training for this fight with uh, Paulie Malinagi, and uh, obviously that went wrong. Uh, or maybe right for Connor, I'm not sure. Uh, but they were like sparring for 12 rounds. Connor knocks Paulie Malinagi out. Footage and pictures emerge of this. Paulie gets upset, uh, goes to Mayweather and, you know, seemingly shares all the secrets. So Mayweather's got maybe a little bit of insider knowledge now. Um, but I don't think it's anything McGregor's going to be worried about. But I would not be surprised if uh, this, whatever happens after this, leads to McGregor versus Paulie Malinagi. Um, I think that's a fight that a lot of people now want to see. And I think Paul is doing everything he can to make that fight happen because he knows that is going to be big, big bucks. Uh, another thing that happened, the gloves. So the gloves were going to be uh, 
uh, 10 ounce, have gone down to 8 pound gloves and uh, you know that's that's quite interesting because that means that there's less protection now you know Connor's used to really, I think he's used to 4 so 8, eight gloves is just it's not that big of a difference, certainly not when he was going up to the likes of 10. So uh, that is going to be interesting. That was changed last minute. Bit of psychological work from Mayweather. But again, McGregor's like, you've just made a massive mistake. Not only that, who's going to be singing and bringing these guys out? Uh, apparently they turned around to McGregor the other day and said, you've sorted someone to sing the Irish National Anthem, yeah? And they're like, what? No, no one told me I had to do this. Apparently they called it Bono. Bono's like, I'm at a wedding, <laughs> I can't do it. Um, so that was all going wrong. I think Dana White, head of the UFC, who's kind of in Connor's camp, definitely in Connor's camp, uh, has sorted it, but there's no name as to who that's going to be. I honestly can't think of like a massive Irish singer that it could be. Sinead O'Connor? I, I, honestly, I've no idea. I doubt it'll be Westlife. I don't know who they've got. I'm fascinated to find out. Uh, and I don't know who sings the American National Anthem. I don't know who Mayweather has got. It's definitely not going to be Justin Bieber. Him and Mayweather have properly fallen out. Bieber usually walks Mayweather uh, down to the ring. Big rumours that it's going to be Nate Diaz that does that. Nate Diaz defeated Conor McGregor. Um, and so, yeah, I was listening to an interview with Nate Diaz where he was saying, just going to have to wait and see, aren't you? That would be tasty. Imagine that Mayweather coming out with a man that defeated Conor McGregor. Um, this is all show. It is one massive circus. There are people that love it. There are people that hate it. I love it. Um, can't wait to see what happens in the fight. I'm expecting a Mayweather win. I'm expecting it to go to points. I'm expecting the judges to hand it to Mayweather. Not sure if it'll be unanimous. I have a feeling that it will. But if McGregor can just find a way, a way through, and McGregor thinks he can, McGregor is saying this will be done in two rounds. Two rounds? Super confident, and he's every right to be. I'll be cheering McGregor, but expecting Mayweather. Enjoy the fight, guys.